President Trump taking swift action to roll back much of President Obama's climate change policies. The president signing a sweeping order today, coal miners standing right beside him. The president promising often during the campaign that he would bring back coal mining jobs. But the White House was pressed today. Just how many jobs do they think this move today will create? And will coal jobs really come back in big numbers for those families who heard the promise? ABC senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega at the White House. Our incredible coal miners. Surrounded by coal miners today, the president with a stroke of a pen signing a sweeping order to roll back most of President Obama's climate change legacy. With today's executive action, I am taking historic steps to lift the restrictions on American energy, to reverse government intrusion, and to cancel job-killing regulations. The order calls for a review of rules curbing carbon emissions in the U.S. It strikes rules mandating that climate change be considered in federal policymaking, and it does not address the 2015 Paris Climate Deal, an international agreement to cap greenhouse gas emissions. We are going to put our coal miners back to work. Today, President Trump says miners he's met want to get back to work. And I said, how about this? Why don't we get together, we'll go to another place, and you'll get another job. You won't mine anymore. Do you like that idea? They said, no, we don't like that idea. We love to mine. That's what we want to do. I said, if that's what you want to do, that's what you're going to do. But the White House doesn't know exactly how many new mining jobs will come out of this executive order. Environmentalists say the president is overselling the revival of jobs in a declining industry. Fewer than 75,000 coal mining jobs remain in the U.S. By comparison, there are more than 650,000 renewable energy jobs. Today, the Sierra Club called the president's executive order the single biggest attack on climate action in U.S. history, period. Candidate Trump called climate change a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. A lot of it. Today, we asked the White House if anything has changed. Does the president still believe that climate change is a hoax? He does not believe that, as I mentioned at the outset, that you that is there is a binary choice between job creation, economic growth, and, and caring about the environment. And that's what we should be focusing on. And Cecilia Vega with us live from the White House tonight. And Cecilia, as you know, so many coal mining families heard those promises during the campaign from them candidate Donald Trump. White House Press Secretary Spicer was asked today how many jobs this new executive order would create. How did he answer? Well, he didn't really have an answer, David. He, even though this order was billed as a means to create jobs, the White House doesn't have an estimate. Sean Spicer turning the focus from workers to coal company owners saying the industry is applauding this order.